attention now though to the men's singles and a quarter-final between Kidambi Shrikant of India and Mark Kalyu of the Netherlands and mentioned that the two women they were meeting for the 20th time these two have never met before both inside the world's top 30 although Shrikant ranks a 14 places better than his opponent Here's the men's singles draw, incidentally, so the winner of this will play either Sen or Zhao. That's being played on court number two today. And you can see the bottom half and you can see how many seeds have gone tumbling, including, of course, the Olympic champion Victor Axelson. It's been one of those tournaments, so it's uh, pretty wide open, truth to tell. <laughs> Officials and players are already out on court, as you can see. And just about to have the coin toss. So first meeting, Steve, between these two. What are your thoughts here on who who might get the uh, the upper hand early on, at least? Uh, I, I think um, initially um, Shrikant uh, should be able to get the uh, upper hand. Mark Kaljo chose to start on this near side here, where he plays um, with the drift, and that should give Shrikant a good chance to uh, control a little bit um, unfamiliar grounds for Kajo reaching the first quarterfinal of the World Championships. Shrikath was up at number one in the world. That was uh, round about April of 2018. He does have 10 tournament wins to his credit, but the last of them way back in 2017 when he won the French Open. There's his progress through. No buy, so he's uh, had to play three rounds to get to this point. Stretched by Li Shi Feng in the second round, a match that lasted more than an hour. And hasn't benefited from any withdrawals so far. Shri Kant, uh, his uh, route to this quarterfinal. Kalyu's best ranking there, you can see at 23, was. Um, a similar time when she got through the world number one. Lives in Arnhem in the Netherlands. He's won several minor tournaments, most recently the Austrian Open and the Kharkiv International a couple of years ago. And he's had a pretty tough route through, although that was a very good win against Pranith in the last round, knocking out the number 14 seed. In, um, in dire straits against uh, Kelly Collion and also um, I caught that match and uh, they were familiar foes and uh, Kaljo's got a grip on uh, the Finn head to head. Iris Metzpalu of Estonia is the chair umpire here. Our service judge, judge Sean Sukdio of Trinidad and Tobago. Come on. 
So Shrikath to get this quarter final underway. First meeting between these two. Here we're a lot in, in, in some other sports thing. I mean, tennis, obviously, and many others where players have watched videos of opponents before they meet, especially when they've never faced them before. Is that, will, will either of these have watched an, any video footage of the other, do you think? Definitely. Definitely. The most valuable, most valuable when you've played the opponent previously you uh, can sort of measure your own playing style against the opponents. Uh, strings gone in the Kansas racket. Two, one. Had quite a few of those this week. We've had plenty of players sprinting off court and back on, yeah. and uh, changing the racket midpoint. Choice of new weapons there for the Dutchman. That's not much use to man or beast. Not until the striggers get a hold of it. For a big man, he's got a very light touch. Ashrick and um, an attacking player, delicate uh, net game, steep smashes. Kaljo uh, likes to play rallies, uh, working on. Uh, his attack and uh, the ability to score points from the front court. Um, but as you mentioned, uh, Trevor, he's had a tougher road to uh, the semi final here. And on top of that, after the Olympics, he underwent the heart surgery, uh, Mark Kaljo. Um, so uh, he hasn't really played that much and not practiced that much either since the Olympics because. Coming back from the heart surgery, he got um, back trouble and um, only played one tournament. That was the French Open where he had to retire in the uh, first round. Well, it never rains, but it pours. Let's hope he's 100% now. I'm sure this run to the quarter, quarters will uh, give him plenty of confidence. Open invitation, which was never going to be refused. Aldo slate shaking his legs. That's not the picture. If it's uh, tension or a bit of fatigue from the previous three matches and I mentioned this that it's been rather uh, a tough tournament but on the other hand the first two rounds were played with um, a day's rest in between so it's basically uh, the first day he's playing consecutive uh, matches won his uh, third round match yesterday against Brian Yang from uh, Canada Kind of an occupational hazard. The deeper you go in one of these championships, the more days you have to play. And uh, now, of course, consecutively, 
quarters, semis and final. Three straight days. But a handy lead already for the Indian in this opening game. Well, that's a dominant first half of the opening game, 11-5. Too many unforced errors so far from the racket of Kedembe Shrikath. Kami will be grateful for anything he can get in that regard from the Indian, because at the moment he's distinctly second best. Excellent follow up from Shrikath there. Maintaining the pressure on uh, Kajol. There's just a slightly defeatist air to the Dutchman's body language at the yeah. moment, isn't there? Yeah, there is, but um, uh, it's fooled a number of players, but the question is whether it's fooled players of um, Shrikan's level. There's been some signs lately that uh, he's getting into uh, better shape, Shrikan. Even though when playing the very best players, he's, um, he's really not um, been able to uh, to challenge the likes of Antons and Axelsen, Lishija, Vitisan. But the players below that level, he's, he's played some good matches lately. And uh, he's landed in from uh, Kajo. There's just no respite for Calgo in these rallies, is there? No. If he uh, puts a little too less pressure on his shots, then uh, Shrikan is immediately taking over. And that's, of course, what's mostly happened here in this first game. Excellent. 
the moment it's just too sharp and too fast for for Kaojo. As I mentioned, I saw the match against Kelly Kolyunen, and whilst Kolyunen was able to keep um, the pace high, he was in control. When he dipped a little bit, then um, Kaojo got back into the match. Well, these points just going very quickly. We've only been playing for 10 minutes, and the Indian only three away now from securing his first game. And the problem for Kaojo is that when they change ends, he can play the, the backcourt with a little bit more confidence, but Shrikan, he's, he's not really that um, affected by the uh, drift because he's not planning to play a lot of clears anyway. He's just planning to hammer smashes down. So 12 game points in double quick time for Kidambi Shrikan. There it is, 21 points to 8 without really breaking sweat. And it looks like a long, long way back now for Mark Calgary. Your attack, Sika. Your attack is very strong. Your advantage is attack point, right? But Kajo also know. So if she did. When he did and post them, she was the, waiting to your full smash. But today I was there, you you did. Half smash, and she was half smash, half slap, uh, slice drop shot. It's very confused, she was very confused. You know, all takes very nice because. But last time you left the backside straight, full smash. Too much power, then sometimes impact no good, and slice then no good, many outsides. Oh. Same sex, second game, low ball start, first ball. Very important second, okay? Maybe Kajo also again like one more time try again. So it is speed of fast, more aggressive. And remember she is very cross cross half smash very nice, okay? okay. First remember. Deep situation then this one more patient down toast. Kajo always black, she waiting your lips and your toes, okay? Down toast, okay? Keep on. Come on. Let's see where the Dutchman can find some kind of uh, rhythm in the second game. Totally lacking in the first. <laughs> A lot of coaching on the Indian side uh, from uh, Park Tessang to Shrikan. Even though I guess most of it was uh, affirmations of um, that Mark Kajo on how he uh, played well. Too much on that for Kajo uh, to deal with. And uh, it's good shot quality on uh, the smashes from uh, Shrikan Kidambi. Kajo cannot just give away the front court like uh, he's done so far. <laughs> Two, three. 
pity for Shrikant. He uh, already uh, sent Kaljo to the backcourt with that deception. Oh, just raining jump smashes at the moment. Yeah. From Kaljo's perspective, it's about staying in it, staying uh, close. He didn't manage to do that in the first game, but uh, maybe he can uh, do it here where he can play in the backcourt with a bit more confidence. best shot he has played in the match. Yeah. I like the cross smash from uh, Kaljo because if he smashes straight there's a lot of uh, the defense from Shrikant that's cross defense anyway so he's gonna run the long distance and he might as well get the benefit of the cross smash which is a little bit harder for Shrikant to defend and then get on his uh, way towards that uh, forehand corner immediately. Excellent shot by Shrikan. Getting to that cross defense, playing it back cross. Very hard for Kaljo to um, defend. And the uh, defense is uh, lacking a bit in uh, quality. That's much better. Way too high. Yeah, it was a sitting duck there, wasn't he? Yeah. He gets a lot of angle on his uh, smashes, Shrikan Kidambi. So, Pak Tisan said, you can use half smash as long as it's steep and you're in balance so you can follow up well on the next one. And he's lethal on his follow ups. No, so I think this is going to be uh, a walk in the park for the Indian. It'd be a lonely place, can't it, when you're being outplayed and outclassed in this fashion? Yeah. So 11-3 it is at the interval, and unless there's a quite remarkable turnaround, it looks as though Shrikant is semi-final bound. It's okay, anything, everything okay. But remind us, when you're leading, now, the point, the key point then is more focus. Huh? Will you keep me, Mark Kajo, right? Uh, so if now this time will be finish, easy finish. Next time was Kajo smile or ask if it's very tough. You have to make this mind. Because okay, so this keep going, don't stop. Okay? So don't slowly. Okay? Now then now now two time mistake with black is little longer, so <coughs> just easy, easy. Only just down because Kajo was already done. Shots by Shrikan. 
four. Two sun urging him to uh, keep on going. It's a very, very long shot now for uh, Kyle Jones to come back. It's um, first hand, it's about uh, making a respectable effort. Just to steer the shuttle down the sideline. Nothing going right for that man at the moment. <laughs> no. Five. He can take comfort in the fact that he's scored more points than Anas Antonsen scored against Kento Momota in the final of uh, 2019 Seven. World Championship in Basel. Six. But uh, not much of a comfort, I guess. And Anas Antonsen, of course, in with a chance to score many more points in an eventual uh, World Championship final playing a uh, thrilling the final match Silver. at least 16. on paper Six. later on uh, today against this year well no prize money on offer at these world championships but obviously plenty of ranking points and that will be one consolation to uh Kelly. yeah some sort of oi 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 slipped yeah that could have been nasty it's okay yeah. Okay, physically, but still being given the runaround. Four more points will do it now for Kidambi Shrikan. In terms of price money, there's still a possibility that he has a bonus in his sponsor contract for reaching a what championship quarterfinal. He's never really looked comfortable on court, uh, Mark Kaja, but that's also thanks to uh, Shrikant, who has uh, pretty much done everything right. So it's over. Seven, 17. long he's going to challenge it I mean he may as well absolutely nothing to lose
So here are 13 match points for the Indian for a place in the last four. And the first ever World Championship medal. Well, that was about as straightforward a quarter final as you'll ever see. Just 25 minutes on court. And for the loss of just 15 points. 21-8, 21-7. Dominant display from Kidabi Shrikant against Mark Kanyo, who was just basically outclassed from the get-go. 21-8, 21-7. Can't get off court quick enough, I don't think. So a thumbs up from the Indian, he's through to the semis tomorrow and in double quick time. So that won't have taken too much out of him physically. Well, we're going to switch our attention next to doubles, the mixed doubles to be precise. We've got an upcoming quarter final, Go and Lai against the number two seeds from Thailand, who have run Pro and Kona Kanacha. That's in a couple of minutes. watching our continuing coverage of the Total Energies BWF World Championships of 2021. Glorious wide shot showing you where we are. We're in, well, we're in southern Spain, uh, next to the football pitch and the athletics track there. 